डॉक्टर समीर थैंक यू सर दैट वाज अ ग्रेट लेक्चर नाउ इफ देर आर एनी क्वेश्चंस फ्रॉम ऑडियंस और फ्रॉम ऑनलाइन पोर्टल आर यू ऑनलाइन सर यस आई एम ऑनलाइन यू थैंक यू सर थैंक यू सर फॉर जॉइनिंग डॉक्टर मोहन रामचंदानी इज ऑनलाइन सो समीर प्लीज कंडक्ट दी सेशन अहेड so uh, if there are any questions moderators please go ahead with the question hello mohan sir are you there yes yeah yeah yeah, yeah. sir with the more and more applications of the cholangioscopy uh, what are the scenarios where do you prefer uh, intraductal ultrasounds over cholangioscopy so cholangioscopy gives us a luminal answers but there are some uh, issues with cholangioscope uh, that we have a uh, wall architecture answer or uh, what is happening around the bile duct say for example you will be uh, extensive compression and with cholangioscopy you will not be able to see anything but if you put a endoscopic ultrasound you will be able to see the wall layers of the bile duct and what is compressing from outside where is the lymph node so they have got complementary role rather than a competitive role so we can have both the modalities mucosa thing will be given better by cholangioscopy while the intramural and extramural knowledge is better with intraductal ultrasound thank you sir uh sir uh, one more question uh, yes. now we are able to uh, remove early cancers through the upper gi scopy as well as colon uh, as well as colonoscopy uh, yes. how much hopeful we are that we will also be able to remove early cholangiocarcinoma if we can diagnose it, it uh, in very early stage through cholangioscopy yeah. yeah so the most important thing which led to early detection of upper gi and colon cancer is screening program like if a person who is asymptomatic who gets screening so it is easy to screen upper gi and colon while you will never do a screening in a normal bile duct uh, you may cause severe problems so if we have certain uh, 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 imaging criteria or other things where a patient who has got genetic predisposition or there is a high family risk you can identify these subtle abnormalities on mrcp or mri and then you may do that but i think that is very far away we have to think about diagnosis how to screen the population so i think early diagnosis of cancer in bile duct is re- possibility but as far as therapeutic and identifying them into the first layer and doing esd in bile duct will take around next 10 to 15 to 20 years sir sir uh, one more question you have discussed a lot about the bile duct interventions but uh, what about the pancreatic interventions what about the future sir yeah so pancreatic infer- intervention are less uh, uh, available or the indications are obviously lesser than bile duct the two more important uh, indication which has been reported worldwide is treatment of pancreatic calculi so pancreatic calculi in india are different than what we see in the west we see more speculated stones they occupy whole of the duct they start from the head so majority of our chronic pancreatitis patients are not amenable for uh, pancreatic oscopy lithotripsy you have a few selected patient whom you can do that otherwise eswl is the cornerstone of treatment uh, as far as endoscopy is concerned for these patients the another indication is ipmn and ipmn also can be easily diagnosed by endoscopic ultrasound and mri it is the line of demarcation which can be uh, identified better by pancreatoscopy so i have not touched upon that but uh, th- that can be a very important uh, indication and also as a, as i told in a patient who is very high risk for cancers say for example some of the genetic like fuchs jeger syndrome or and if you do, do an uh, imaging like ct or mr and you find dilated duct in such cases you can go ahead and do pancreatic oscopy to identify early cancers but still there are no guidelines 
but the future may be in this direction thank you sir thank you sir for your valuable time now uh, we'll move on uh, to the live cases at nig uh, hand over to dr yogesh yes for so, last case uh, dr samir we have uh, still two cases one will be demonstrated by dr sandeep he is trying to negotiate wire across the structure in failed drcp so over to uh, ot1 please switch over to ot1 yes sandeep you are live yeah uh, can you hear me yes yes in auditorium so, can you hear uh, can everybody hear dr sandeep in auditorium yes yes we can hear you okay 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 so this is the same case which shomin was doing uh, so this patient had uh, actually overstaging in mrcp which uh, they told that this is a hyla structure in mrcp so we did cholangioscopy and you saw in the when somin was doing that uh, the patient had a structure in the mid cvd rather than in the so we took biopsies cholangi cholangioscopic biopsies now my task is to show you to how to negotiate where with cholangioscopy put where and we can do stenting so i would like to tell you this is also a common indication sometimes during arcp we fail to put uh, the wire in the desired duct so in that instance we can use cholangioscopy and put the guide wire either into the right anterior or the right posterior system or in the left system and uh, thereafter you can stent so initially we thought that this is a uh, hyalur structure so we thought we will put stents in both the systems but now as it is apparent that uh, this is a mid cvd structure only so one stent will suffice so you, as you can see the cholangioscopic picture this is what you have seen earlier also that uh, this is the tumor in the mid cvd so i am crossing that yeah now you can see the hilum now from the hilum you can go into both the right and the left system then in the right system again you can go into the right anterior right posterior and you can see the second order third order uh, third generation ducts so i think personally this is particularly very useful for the hyalur structure as well as the post liver transplant anastomotic structure sometimes yes. it is quite difficult to negotiate the wire in the post anastomotic tight uh, benign structure and i think this modality is particularly very useful yeah so them. since you have told about liver trans recently one of our post liver transplant patients uh, like there was a mismatch in the duct diameter so when they anastomosed so there was a structure, structure. which were impossible to negotiate with the uh, guide wire so we tried for 15 20 minutes could not then with the help of cholangioscopy finally we could negotiate because most of the transplant patients the duct sizes will not match so our job is not much uh, here so let's just put a guide wire here put a guide wire then over the guide wire we'll put a stent and come out so uh, with the help of fluoro you can see the fluoro image show the fluoro you, you can see we have gone high up to the this is possibly the right anterior system you can see the right anterior system show the fluoro yeah barai so we'll come out little bit we'll put the guide wire and over the guide wire we'll put a biliary stent we'll put a 10 french stent over to put any questions from the auditorium regarding cholangioscopy koi hai kya wahan pe Uh, there may be there may not be a physical presence but there may be few people online so they can post their question online also okay. so the guide wire has come out as you can see fluoro so, okay so this is in the right posterior, uh, posterior system so we'll come out and over the guide wire we'll put a stent initially we thought of putting two systems in both the uh, two stents in both the systems but now mm -hmm. as we saw the structure is lower down i think one stent will suffice fluoro ah uh, okay i ah, think okay. this is a ideal case when mrcp over diagnose it considered to be unrejectable hyalur cholangiocarcinoma ct suggestive of doubtful hyalur involvement and at the end it turned out to be a 
stricture which is involving the up to the hepatic duct and hyalized patent. We have took a biopsy. We just put a single stent rather than two stent. Biopsy is awaited, and if it is turned to be a malignant, uh, it will change the entire management, and patient is fit for surgery if other there are no other metastases. So, so it is uh, mentioned in literature <coughs> that around 20 to 30 percent of most of the literature, around 30 percent cases also the management changes after cholangioscopy. Fluoro once. Fluoro. Okay. Fluoro. Okay. Is there, don't worry. Okay, no problem. So this is this case is just to show this case uh, may not be uh, like cholangioscopic uh, guide wire position may not be required here because uh, but uh, since uh, for the demonstration purpose we have done this just because in your daily practice sometimes you will really face a situation where the guide wire it will be very difficult to pass the guide wire then you can uh, under mm -hmm. colon uh, cholangioscopic guidance you can put the stent. So by the Oasis uh, system, uh, we will put a 10 French double pictal stent. So we can reposition the wire, the wire has come out little bit, but uh, again when we put the Oasis uh, over no, tube, we can I still reposition the karo, stent position, the guide wire position. Traction, traction. Pluro? Pluro? The wire is quite tight. Yeah, as you can see, the wire has gone up. So, you should be very careful uh, that the wire should not go up uh, too much because recently I had one patient where the guide wire punctured the capsule and the patient had a subcapsular hematoma. Traction, traction. Pluro? Pluro? Traction, hello. Yeah. You are quite high, you can deploy now. Pluro? No, no, it's a good thing. Go, you can manipulate it. Put it deep inside, then only you will be able to put some traction. I think you... Pluro? Ah, okay, okay. We throw traction ah, though. Uh -huh. This ah, is stuck here. Ah, yeah. Yeah, just they are uh, switching up fluoro to the other room. So be yeah, quick. Show me, show me last. Once. Last, last image. Last image, show me. Yeah, it has gone. Okay. Upper, dikhao. Oh, you are quite high. Just deploy it. Yeah. Chalo. Okay, chalo, you can chalo. go. Release. Second, uh, yeah. Second, eh? Uh, so, thank you, thank you very much. Oh, thank you. Yeah. So, 
moving on to the last case uh the case is removal of a migrated inward migrated biliary stain by cholangioscopy and to demonstrate the stain i will uh, invite dr yogesh in ot1 to demonstrate the removal of inward migrated biliary stain and to uh, to moderate the session i will invite dr chintan kansagra dr nakul morakhia dr nirav wakani and dr hardik parmar over to you dr yogesh can we have the history please samir am i audible yes yes yeah. yes sir so this patient actually had a history of uh, cholelithiasis 4 years back he had cholangitis St complete clearance of cbd was done and stent was placed but then he has forgotten to remove the stent so he came 4 years later with cholangitis again uh, previous stent was removed and cbd clearance was done large large amount of mug and stones were removed but there is a still retained part of stent within the cbd which is not possible to remove by standard drcp procedure like use of basket or balloon under ietv guidance so we are demonstrating removal of the retained part of stent by cholangioscopy by use of spy basket so i and dr saurabh mukewar are demonstrating this okay <clears throat> are we live yeah we are live okay hi good afternoon everyone so we are uh, in a unique <laughs> spot here we have cannulated the bile duct and we are inside either the left or the right intrahepatic ducts and uh, uh, because of uh, some equipment situation we don't currently have yeah, fluoro have, although we, we are have, getting we a have. fluoro yeah. on uh, in this room right now so we started in a radiation free manner and uh, we've managed to get the scope up to the hilum in fact one of the intrahepatic ducts now what we have so far we have not been able to see thoda negative the next bit so far we have not been able to visualize the stent in in the intrahepatic system so what we are going to try to do again is get a fluoroscopy guidance to assist us although it's really not required much once you find it but just to assist us in terms of uh, going in the right place we are going to get fluoroscopy guidance so i think i am inside one of the intrahepatic ducts uh, certainly and i'm going to quickly get mm. fluoroscopy stent uh, upar hi hai upar hai lag raha hai yeah yeah it is there we saw there know. is a whitish is that no, it no 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 hey no, this is, this is this is part of the yeah. Oh, yeah yeah that's fantastic part. yeah yeah <laughs> good location great location actually by <laughs> basket <laughs> uh, let's see you know i think this is not a straight forward case my friend so i am here and we are going to let's see do this here So in this particular case standard routine maneuvers and methods to approach and gain access remove this this migrated stent have failed and uh, therefore the patient has been referred Maybe for this case no. here Spy, now the real Spy question is can you get it up inside the ducts where you want to get the scope now so maneuverability okay gets Spy. a little limited as soon as you are trying to do anything adventurous up in the intrahepatic ducts and therefore laser lithotripsy all these maneuvers are much uh, are a different sort of a challenge when you are up there now what's going on is i can tell you from my hand i think that's it i think i think we are visualizing the stent is is our impression but uh, the scope is not going further despite our best efforts but i'm going to try i'm going to still try use some ways to get my scope up inside the ducts now the menu uh, the fact is my dials are maxed out which means i cannot move my dials any more than i have already moved them so th which uh, limits my ability to move the scope now what i do in such situations is actually use my duodenal scope to assist if uh, me in getting up you nikal liya kya apne wire bhi hai acha ye idhar hai ha nikala hai isliye thoda isko beech mein so what i'm going to do is get my guide wire up there because the guide wire may in fact assist me in uh, getting inside the targeted duct now here it is now here's the guide wire and it is actually going in the duct of choice now i'm going to pull it back mere ko abhi flight ka situation hai bhai so can you tell me when it's 4:30 yogesh yeah i have the time 
no, no, it's 10 minutes. I have 10 minutes. So yeah, I yeah, yeah. Okay, that's cool. So we are going to get this guide. Uh, uh. Straight wire though. Straight wire. Give me a straight wire. This is all too coiled. That's also part of the problem. Manish, give us a straight wire. Straight wire. So what uh, we have, the, the wire we were using had uh, a coiled, uh, a sort of a angle tip and therefore it was going in the not preferred radical. You want to use the basket directly? Directly, yeah, no, I don't think the basket will, is great. Ha, huh, that's a problem. I think if you see it more on fast, it would be great. Uh, I'm going to spend 10 minutes and then Dr. Sandeep Pal <laughs> here is going to take over, I think, because I have a flight to catch, but we are going to try here. I think. I think now what we are visualizing at least on screen is probably the, the stent which is migrated. Moto up ne? Moto up. Jaguar do. So give me uh, the spy bite. You want spy bite? Uh, I want the spy, spy bite. bite. Spy bite. Spy bite. What I'll do is, uh, I think in the fluoroscopy as well, I'm not convinced that, I don't know, it's a very small fragment of the stent. Sometimes it's not even easily visible on fluoroscopy. Anyway, I think uh, we have a little bit of a limited view here, uh, but we are going to do our level best to try to, you know, is that, is that? Huh, I, think, ITV I, I think this is a, uh, Yogesh has managed to find a, a fairly interesting case for me. Now, you see on the screen, fluoroscopy images, anybody in the audience, uh, the moderators out there, uh, we would like you to see the fluoroscopy images to appreciate where we are and what we are dealing with here. Okay. There is a residual part, no? Probably we can see that. Ah, the, the residual part is in fact sort of uh, angled in inside the, the left intrahepatic duct. So... Let's see. The, my, my first thing is I have to get this spy bite. Now I'm going to use spy bite just because I think uh, spy bite has a better grasping ability. And if you get it on FOSS, then you will be able to actually uh, retrieve it, you know. Uh, and I think I can imagine why regular methods have failed in this particular case because the way uh, the location of the stent is, uh, is inside the intrahepatic ducts, in fact, one of the lower radicals. So you're n none of your regular methods is going to succeed. In fact, this method requires a bit of a uh, exercise to do. So, okay, great. I think the spy bite actually managed to get up there. All right, so here we go. So what we are going to do here in this case is pull this back and, uh, huh. and I'm going to shorten the scope. Spot, where am I? Where, uh, show the ITV, please. Yeah, you're at the high limb need to go to the left. Ah. Let's see, go up. Yes. But I'm not sure if that's the one. Uh, no? no. Spot? Yeah, yeah. See, I'm, I think I've gone up. So we have to come back. And, uh, you know, I think my sp this thing scope has become a little stiff with these forceps in. IDV? Yeah, yeah. Now, now you. So I think it's the system here. Yeah, that's it. This is the system we have to be in, which is a left intrahepatic. I was right, deep in the right intrahepatic duct. And then, as we are in it, we torque the scope. Now this does limit, show you the slight limitation of the current spy equipment, wherein uh, you cannot bend it more, you know. And here we are. Let's see. Ah, uh, okay. No, 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 the guide wire is... Uh, oh, we could do that, I think. No guide wire though. See, this is the angle. Now, it's yeah, not yeah. going to we'll take we'll a... We'll it's not going to take a U-turn there. So, we get the guide wire up first, and then uh, try to get the scope up there. Straight guide wire. <laughs> that that yeah that's that's actually being extremely lucky 
Uh, here, the visualization itself is a task, but anyway. No, <laughs> oh, yeah, actually, you know what? These are narrow ducts, no? When you're ah, no, you're, you're, you're right. I had done one thing. Uh, yeah, if it's uh, lower down, probably a little more doable. Okay, good. That's fine. Now, the wire is ITV. in the right duct. Chalega, chalega, chalega. This is fine. I think it's okay because I think I just want to advance it to the point where I can see the uh, the tip of the stand. Yeah, that's it. That's good enough. Okay, now you see the pr problem. Now we can't get it further. Okay. Ah, no, 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 no. This happened to us. Okay, Adi. okay. So we are losing some position here, and I have to then get my scope back in. I go long, and then I sort of shorten the scope. Okay. 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 Sorry, time declare. Time. Time. Four point three six. Okay, I want to really try to get this thing done. Is it the guide wire which is causing yeah, the problem? You want to remove? Remove this. Sometimes your view on the spy get limited, so you know, oftentimes there's something stuck on the guide wire. Sorry. Oh, thanks. Sorry. Okay. All right. <laughs> okay. You can get the fluoro. Thoda the nahi chhoda chhoda chhoda. Aise mat karo. This is the duct, that's correct. And what I'm going to do is get the guide wire back up in there. Uh, actually, we were in a pretty good spot initially there. You know what? Let's see if I can get my spy bite there. You know, just give me the spy this bite directly. Yeah, this is the stand, no? Yeah. But spy the problem bite. is it's going to. See, the spy bite is going to come at 6 o'clock. So what I'm going to do, close, close. Close, close, bye bye, close. Close, Karo, yeah. Close, no. Yes. Yeah. Take it. That's fine. I got it. I got it. I'll do it. Yeah. So in this case, uh, you see the stent is at your 10 o'clock. The spy bite is going to come at your 6 o'clock. So uh, with this limited views and limited maneuverability, I think it's crucial that uh, you get the access right. And I think what we may end up having to do, perhaps in this case, is also uh, have it in a slightly blind fashion where we may compromise our view to enable these things to pass. Now, Luckily, we have the SPY DS2 now because I can guarantee you the SPY DS1 would not have gone through this uh, cholangioscope in a intrahepatic duct location. So you see now, here is where the spy bite is coming from. And the stent is at 12 o'clock. And then as I move my dials, there is no way to move my dials more. I can move it on the left, on the right. It's, that's it. So that's the limitation right now. So what we will do is. And also the other problem that we encounter in these situations is that the scope becomes stiff. As the scope becomes stiff, uh, your movement of the scope gets limited. OK, good. And as we push it in here, this is going here. So you can't do that. Do you want to try a basket? Snare, maybe. maybe Give a, me basket. Uh, I think the basket may be a little better. Yeah. Okay. Close Let's get this out. Close 
So yeah, I think it's important to also have a bunch of accessories in your room. Oh, okay. Oh, ah, that was good. This was actually great. Ah, oh, nice. I see, I think that's part of the stand there. Abhi was spy use karna hai, yeah? I think this was going so well, actually. You know what? Spy bite little. Right? Ha, I think as soon as I put spy bite. Spy yeah, bite. sorry. I'm going to use the spy bite because I'm more comfortable with this. Yeah, you put that inside, it becomes, you don't get this view. That's been the problem. So I'm a little hopeful that this time around, I get the view. And sometimes you just have to wait and the stent will move and then you'll get the right sort of angle. Okay. Oh, oh, oh no. Oh great. <laughs> yeah, it's a problem now. I think it's uh, close. Uh -huh. Ah. Totally. So yeah, this is one thing to be done where uh, something to be learned. This instruments can make it stiff, and your appearance sort of uh, changes. So let's see. What I'm going to do is go up a little blind and see if I can get this in. No. No, this is not going to go. OK, let's try something else. We're going to try a spy basket. What do you think? Yeah, yeah. Try a spy, spy basket, basket or spy snare. I think basket may be a better option. You can, yeah, you get, get, no, you can get the guide wire in that system and then do regular maneuvers could be the other approach, I think. Those are all approaches, but this may take some time. Yes. Actually, they are fragments of these things. <coughs> fragments of these things. Problem is that. Yeah, it's fun. I, I think we are as uh, up as we can go. And you know, you can see up there to go on FOSS, you have to take a complete uh, 90 degree turn, you know. Uh, and here we are. I think this is good. I'm actually being able to see it. So let's see where my instrument comes out again here. Oh, oh. OK. Thoda, thoda pass me. <laughs> yeah, this, so the spy has its own limitations, right? I think the ability to move it is also minu Let's see. No, no, uh, let's see. No. Chalo, open karke dekho pe. Yeah, let's see. Can do that. Yeah, I think this may work. Let's see. I know. I think I'm. I'm pretty happy with this. The only thing is. Uh, Okay. <laughs> Jayesh is worried because he has on the, he's on the same flight as I am. <laughs> and he's thinking like, what's sir doing? Why is he not going to the airport? <laughs> All right. So open there, please. Open. All right. OK, that's good. That's good. That's good. Ah, yeah. I think I am going to go now. Can I close it? What is it? Is नहीं लग रहा है, ओके, आह, we got some tissue, all right, ओके, मुझे थोड़ा 4:30 पे, can you guys tell me when it's 4:30? Yeah, it's all. 
Oh, 35, okay. Yeah, I'm going to give my one last shot. I hate to not finish this case, but <laughs> all right, open. Okay, open. Ah, okay, nice, nice, yes, yes. So what we should do is go in and then let's get this. Uh, it's okay, it's okay, I think. Like how? Is it grabbing it? I think it's going uh, a little bit on the opposite side, isn't it? It's going above because that's where its natural tendencies be there to go. This goat. Oh, we could have taken this case earlier. Thoda time milao tha. We wouldn't know na. Itna challenging. I may destroy your spy scope along the way. I'm gonna go push in so that it goes on the opposite side. Luro? Bia, thoda. Dikh raha hai kya? Nahi na. Now, now, open. No, I'm going to get a different angle now. Fluro? Can you zoom in? Ha, see, now it's on the right angle. See? Now I pulled it back. Now I got it this way so that it's at least going on the right now. Yeah. Fluro life? Okay, close. Slow, slow, close. I'm fast. Hello, Manish. One more last. Okay, open. So this is the right way. You go here and then open it. Because the other side will not go. Close, no, close. Okay. All right, I'm going to lose position a second. Okay, yes here. So open, open, fluoro. Nah, that will put me in the wrong direction. Close. Garden is ready. 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 Right. All right. So uh, I think, uh, okay, I think I may have to step out now, just given the situation. So, uh, so yeah. in case if we are not able to remove, Fluro? yeah, uh -huh. so can we take help of our surgery colleague? You can take hypothesis surgically. Actually, the other way would be the IR guys. You know, if you can get a PTBD in that segment, yeah. and from percutaneous route, you can put a cholangoscope and get entry into that duct. You know, that could be the other approach if you don't want to do a complete, complete surgery. surgical hepatectomy or so for this little st migrated stent, because it's also inside the left intrahepatic yes. duct, so it's not like a, you know, open, open. So I will, I will in this case. Uh, given the lack of time, have it to request Dr. Pal to help. And I have a flight to catch, close. Yeah. yeah. But uh, yeah, I, I, okay. So I would suggest so we'll hand uh, over to Dr. Sandeep. Uh, yeah, I have to. Thank you, Dr. Mukhevar. Okay, good case. So I would say, you know, go with a guide wire in yeah, case yeah. this doesn't go. Go with a guide wire into the duct and then try to advance. Bite, bite doesn't, will not work. You'll have to use, but this is more flexible, so this may work better. No, it's like up and then it's like down, and your spire is not going to bend this much. It's only going to bend this much, basically. But well, sorry, if you know, another half an hour, I think I could have done something. <laughs> I mean, it's, that's all right. You know, sometimes it's going to be hard. It's hard. How are you feeling it, Sandeep?
that can be an option. You can get a pass, but the mm-hmm. time is fine. Thank you, guys. Yeah. Okay. Uh, Fluro? Yeah, okay, I have to go in. Nikhao? Mm, Nikhao? It's the other way around. Nikhao? Yeah, try try in this this one. Okay, yeah, upper level. This, this one, this one, yeah. Mm. Up. Yeah, this. Yogesh, you take this. Yeah. You take this. Yeah, because you can't do both things. We are not used to. हाँ इसमें डालो हाँ इसमें गैडवर डालो यस 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 या 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 यस यस नो दिस इज़ द अदर वे दिस इज़ द अदर शो फ्लोरो फ्लोरो सो दिस इज़ दिस इज़ गोन अप अप वी नीड टू गो डाउन अब आते हैं दिस वन दिस साइड दिस वन यस ओ हाँ हम दिस इज़ चेंजिंग या या नो बोलो इट विल गो इट विल गो no, 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 I'm like this takes a turn this side right ah. uh. no, no. Uh. Ah, go, go, go. No, no. Ah, go, go. Go, go. yes oh. Like if it goes there also, if you put a balloon, big size balloon, will it pull it oh, down? Yeah, yeah, it has gone. Just see. No. no. Should we put some dye and see? Just see. Yeah, it has gone. Yeah, it has gone probably. Sandeep, it has yeah, gone. Yeah. Yeah. Dikha, dikha, dikha. No. Ah. Go with spy. Yeah, it has gone. Let's see. Yeah, yeah, it has gone. It has gone. No, no, it has gone up. It's gone up. The line. Yeah, it is there. No, same duct. Yeah, Sandeep. Same. Duct. <laughs> but then the fluoro, it looks same different. Duct. See. Okay. In fluoro, it looks like it has gone up, right up. Okay, okay. I watch, watch, watch. Try it. थोड़ा थोड़ा ये निकाले वो बात. नहीं 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 वो एक्चुअली क्या है ना स्टैंड पूरा बंद कर रहा है ना उसको उसको ब्लॉकिंग दी एंटायर हम्म डी डायमीटर ऑफ़ डी स्टैंड इस देखो या 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 शो शो यस यस गो डाउन ओह नहीं थोड़ा अंदर बाहर ये ज़्यादा ज़्यादा वो स्टैंड मार देना कौन उठाए सी इफ वी पुट द बेलून बियोंड दिस इट माइट पुल लिटिल बिट क्या देते हो इनसाइड द स्टैंड नहीं बट व्हाट यू विल गेट बेनिफिट दैन यू नो द न कैडियर डोंट गो देयर इट हैज टू जंप बिकॉज़ इट इस हाँ सी सी नो नो it is blocking the entire ductal system. No, what I am telling, you put it there wherever it goes. Then let's use a balloon. If it if comes out, even little bit of end comes out. Karo 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 karo. No changes. It changes direction.
ये कौन सा है सिस्टम ऊपर चाहो क्रॉस कर गए हम लोग हाँ दिखाओ नहीं 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 इट्स जस्ट आगे जाना दिखाओ और ऊपर और नहीं नहीं आई एम जस्ट ऑन टू द स्टेंट द स्टेंट इज अबॉब सी द फ्लोरो इट इज जस्ट अपोजिंग जाओ तो दिखाओ इट्स गोइंग अप हाँ Give, 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 give the, no, should we try that? Let's keep it here. Keep it here. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Inside. But you need a Swayandra's, this thing, retriever. Yeah, we have that. Have you not one of us? Yeah, yeah. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Uh-huh. Up on. Ah, there. और पीछे ना से लूस हो जाएगा यार ओके आई क्रॉस टेकन हाँ रखो जो नहीं नहीं व्हाट अम्म नो व्हाट अवेंस वेन अवर द स्पाइ इज वी आर पुशिंग इट फॉरवर्ड दिस विल पुश द गाइड वेर फर्दर बट दिस इज एट एन एंगल सुपीरियरली नो आप Want, see, it is at six o'clock now. I, I mean to say, can we try a spy bite or basket in this yeah, position? Try, try, try. Chalo. No, I mean, look. According to fluoroscopy, this is completely on the stent. My scope is completely on the stent. Basket. Pipes will open at six o'clock. No, it won't go up. That is the problem. करते हैं कोशिश करते हैं दो दो basket दो basket दो कट वायर का हाँ we are using a spy basket now. मैं यहाँ रखता हूँ तुम पीछे चले जाओ पहले देन यू जिगल एंड कम आउट <laughs> if this would have been little bit inferiorly down, Deep, I think you need to come right out. Yeah. Uh, this is the problem, no? And then once you put the basket in, it will be difficult to go again. Look at. Let me try. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Nikalo? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. That gives a little bit stability to the scope. Yeah. So, yeah. open no, just remember that. <laughs> just unlock it till coming out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Just jiggle, karo, jiggle, karo. Dikhao? 
या या टिप को टिप को या ऊपर जा रहा है लेकिन टिप के टिप के बगल में ही हो देखो देखो लुक्स लाइक इट्स वेरी क्लोज करके पुश करो थोड़ा नहीं 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 स्पाइक को पीछे लाऊं क्या ओपन 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 दिखाओ यस इट इज देयर इन द सेम डिरेक्शन करते रहो जिगल जिगलिंग दिखाओ अंदर चला गया जा दिखाओ अंदर चला गया टचिंग इट यू टेस्ट इट जस्ट ना दिखाओ यस 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 ओपिनियनियनियनियनियनियनियनियनियनियनियनियनियनियनियनियनियनियनियनियनियनियनियनियनियनियनियनियनियनियनियनियनियनियनियनियनियनियनियनियनियनियनियनियनियनियनियनिय
ओके मुझे जाने मुझे जाने दो कैन यू फोकस ऑन आई आई टी वी प्लीज डॉक्टर नवीन कैन यू शो पॉइंट आउट दी स्टैंड लीड होने लग गया तो एक्चुअली द स्टैंड इज इन वन ऑफ द लेफ्ट लोब एंड इट इज एट द एंगुलेटेड पोजिशन we can visualize the stent but the axis is not favoring holding of the residual stent retained stent so sandeep what do you say yeah so the other thing the stone uh, the stent is at a 12 o'clock position and the forces our accessories come out at 6 o'clock position so it is very difficult to negotiate it and because the stent occupy has occupied almost the diameter of the duct the guide wire is also not going beyond the stent so if you are able to put the guide wire beyond the stent then you can use a balloon and probably try to sweep with the balloon but we have not been able to put the guide wire beyond the stent open so yogesh anand here Hello. yes anand uh, just for a curiosity like uh, if you rotate uh, colidoscope from externally 360 is it possible just i am no, asking no no it won't be possible this scope so, doesn't has that quality like there are some bad. endoscopic accessories which can be rotated which are rotatable but not this scope okay is there any maneuver where anand anand uh, being a gi surgeon do you have any experience with such impacted hmm. uh, stent most of the stent would be within the cbd yes, so yes. this is uh, like so uh, this is intrahepatic Yeah. So, uh, if Sandeep also agrees, we will take help of our intervention radiologist yeah, friend. Yeah, yeah. Agree. And, agree. And uh, place a PTBD and then go through that yes. track uh, by a cholangioscope, which we are using right now. Yes. Yeah. And so the then we move the. Uh, rather than that, we'll also do an MRCP that will also help yeah, intervention a, yeah, radiologist yeah. to choose the right site of yeah. puncturing and uh, entering by PTBD. Yes. yes. So yes, we should yes, also yes. know when to hold, and we should always have other options available for such complicated cases. Yes. Just uh, uh, if you are qu- uh, like suppose it's a just suggestion or a just opine. Yeah, yes. Yes. Suppose yes. You, uh, suppose you are leaving this procedure. Uh, could have been a uh, leaving uh, another stand in a same duct that would identify uh, uh, okay. IR people to identify that precise. Yeah. Yes. 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 You are right, Anna. You like, we'll right. put a stand. We have to put a stand. But as Sandeep told, you are not yes. able to pass the wire through uh, through this stent because okay. this stent has already impacted the entire duct. Oh, got you. So MRCP will be a better option. Chalo, okay, do it. Chalo. Okay, sir. We'll put a guide, guide wire. wire. Yeah, okay. Put so we wire. abandon the procedure as discussed. We just place a guide wire and place a stent so that patient doesn't have cholangitis. Yes, we'll we take yeah. help of. Our intervention radiologist colleagues yeah. do a PTBD and then do a cholangioscopy and stent removal. So Samir, you uh, you can uh, uh, close this session and uh, you can also announce the quiz winners and give a vote of thanks, Dr. Samir. Yes. So thank you, Dr. Yogesh, Dr. Sandeep, yeah. <coughs> and uh, thank you uh, our moderator, Dr. Nirav. Uh, now i think, uh, think chintan is also there from rajkot chintan has also joined chintan and dr nakul yeah. are there okay okay samir so, please go ahead okay okay so thank you all now uh, <clears throat> i'll declare the result of the quiz but before this uh, i'll just show you the true answers इसी डॉक्टर में डाल देते हैं स्टेन <coughs> देखने से लगता है कि पकड़े <laughs> नहीं पर आ नहीं रहा ना और क्या टूट जाएगा तुम पकड़ोगे ना फिर कितने दिन हो गया उसे चार महीने चार साल से ऊपर <laughs> ऊपर दिखाओ दिखाओ चलो बाजू में गया ना साइड में गया ऊपर ठीक है निकालते हैं निकालते हैं एक्सचेंज एक्सचेंज करो सो हियर आर द आंसर्स ऑफ द क्वेश्चंस सो फर्स्ट इज द टेन फ्रेंच डायमीटर ऑफ द कैथेटर 
second uh, the size of the spy bite jo biopsy forceps is 4.1 mm the most common laser used is holmium laser because it is most safe <clears throat> Cholangioscopy is not useful for cyst, uh, serous cystadenoma. Cholangioscopy is not useful in the management of hemobilia. It can be helpful in diagnosis. Injection needles are not available to pass through spyscope. Minimum size of stone for uh, to label it as a difficult stone is a 15 millimeter. This is a cholangioscopy guided laser lithotripsy. ERCP with brush cytology has sensitivity of only 40% while direct cholangioscopic visual impression has sensitivity of more than 80%. <clears throat> the rate of stone clearance, although it may be a multiple sessions with cholangioscopic interventions, but it is more than 90%. Seven French, though. As you seven, can see seven. here, we have a malignant or a tumor no. vessel sign so it is a malignant cbd stricture concentric stricture is a feature of benign stricture all other can be seen in malignancy collodocal cyst causes non-obstructive dilatation rather than biliary stricture cholangioscopically tumor vessel sign is most prominent in a nodular variety of cholangiocarcinoma the accessory channel diameter of sky, uh, spyscope DS is 1.2 millimeter. Pancreaticoscopy is useful in the diagnosis of main duct IPMN. And to consider it as an intermediate biliary structure, we need to first uh, do cross sex 